Hi, my name is Steve Faulkner. This is Real Magic Review, and this is Joshua J. Showtime. Before we review Joshua J. Showtime, I'd like to like, I'd like to subscribe, I'd like to visit Car Magic Course. It's free things, right? That's not much effort, is it? Go on, off you go. No, don't do it yet. Do it after this. Um, like, subscribe, Car Magic Course, free little clicks, links will be below, and it just makes so much difference. So do that for me, that'd be lovely. And, uh, and ask any questions about the course you like. Obviously, I say it every time, hundreds of videos, live sessions every week, answers to questions, you interact with me, all the videos of me teaching you from way back to 2013 up to now and beyond, and this is my life's work, so check out carmagiccourse.com. Right, I'm really enjoying these shows, I'm, and the reason is because I can't make a lot of Zoom shows. It's Life at the moment seems to be a bit hectic, and when the shows are on at the time, I can't make them, so I miss them a lot because a lot of them aren't recorded, but Vanish Link keep them on there for a week. So you've got a week to watch them, which is a godsend for me because it's two o'clock in the morning, like I've mentioned before. But also, even if it wasn't, it's so so hard for some of us to sort of be at that point at that time. Uh, and I'm learning a great deal. And I know I'm not just watching these shows to learn. I'm, I'm watching them to to enjoy them, but I'm also learning a great deal. And and it's making me realise how much I miss watching performances to sit back and be a be a spectator and to watch his Joshy show is really interesting because I've never seen him perform. I've seen obviously him do stuff at the session. I've seen him do tricks and bits. I've never seen the full show. And this is obviously different from his show that he does um, in the theatre. He, he, it's, he, it's a whole new show and it's been obviously uh, adapted for Zoom. But what was quite nice, it wasn't just Zoomy tricks. You know, it was it was magic tricks. Like I said about Lucy Darling, there's stuff in there that seems specific, but most of it was tricks that you can still do live, which and and there were some tricks that I've seen him do before and some new stuff. So really, really nice. Uh, I'm not going to run through every trick, but the opener was really strong and very. I always think it's quite brave to start a show with an opener to music because I suppose I get quite scared doing doing any tricks to music because it's. Now, I heard my friend say once, it's like a train that leaves a station, you can't get off until it's at the next station, you know, you kind of, I'm so used to improvising that doing something to music, it's like this can't go anywhere until the music stops. And it was a, it was a sort of loads of shuffles and cuts and revealing cards that had messages on them that was welcome into the show, but with some really good music, the music was really strong. It was a really, really super strong start. And then it went into the show. And what it was, it was a show that kind of incorporated the, the connection part of, of Zoom, uh, cute questions and answers. And we've seen this quite a lot before, you know, we'll stop and have a, a little interaction with the audience. But the whole, through the whole show, there was this thread of ask any questions and you all kind of make the show because the, the tricks will be kind of connected to the questions you asked. And that was really clever because it was, it was like you had these big bits of interaction and then you have, okay, you've got this question. Well, I'll show you something. Come over here. Um, and he would move around his, his flat. The first bit was uh, on on the angle there was an overhead camera but most of it was was straight on which was again nice to see you know we've all got these cameras and we've got these changing cameras but the camera changes seemed to be only when they were really really needed it wasn't it's very easy to get techie isn't it and do all the stuff because we got it and it kind of held back in that way and I and, and I like that and I'm seeing more of that now so again it makes me think we don't have to have loads of really expensive gear to do the stuff but yeah he, he when he got up and moved around his flat that was really nice he kind of it broke that wall a little bit and and kind of you were invited into his life so somebody would ask how old is magic and he'd show you his copy of discovery of witchcraft and and people saying what's the best magic thing you've got you've got this big collection and he'd show his amazing stuff this kind of you know houdini's not the straight jacket like a straight jacket what was it called again punishment jacket or something like that but you're showing these original houdini stuff and these original posters and it was it was nice to sort of geek out on that stuff. The, the routines, I've got them written down. It was really nice to see uh, him do routines that he has sold, you know, it, and not as a kind of, hey, the routine you can buy, but stuff that's been out for a long time. It was nice to see him do Inferno. It was nice to see him do Balance. And Balance is something that people got a little bit like, well, I've got this thing now and I don't know what to do with it. But I, I still really like it. I think it's a really unique thing. And the presentation around it, was, you know, what's your favourite thing you've got? And he opened the box and he, he told the story about the, the prisoners and, you know, I'm not going to share that with you in detail, but it, it gave it so much meaning. And, and 
it was nice to see him sit on the floor of his flat and do it. It, it felt very intimate. And, and I think that's what's really nice about these Zoom shows. And I've seen that kind of thing before, but not as, as a, a big part of the show. Um, there was a card routine, which I really liked, that was that had because I learned bubble thought and it had a kind of part of that in it but this really nice presentation of having a blackboard behind him and doing these sums a bit like there was in the Mike Powers book um, Tesseract he's got this whole thing that you can talk about that the, the chances of if you cut a card the chances of me cutting to the same card or the chance of shuffling a deck and what that actually means and going through all these really interesting facts and then having this really nice reveal of the card at the end gives it with again it showed me that with a simple plot, you can add all this stuff to it that makes it more of a piece of entertainment than just you're cutting to the card, I'm cutting to the card. And, and then there was this kind of further surprise reveal at the end. There was a really nice moment. And I've been, um, I do a thing in my Zoom stuff where I teach a trick. Some, usually it's just because they say, you've got an hour. And I go, well, I've got 40 minutes, I can teach you something. Uh, but it is really nice. And somebody had said, you know, can you teach us a magic trick is one of the questions. And because uh, obviously there was, it was not obvious. There were a lot of uh, lay people in the audience, more than there has been in most of these things, because he has a big lay uh, people following. It's not just magicians. We taught a trick. There was a lovely version of uh, any card at any number with this whole thing where he said, look, look at all these books behind me. And you could see how he'd come to that thing of, you know, we're doing Zoom shows. We've got these bookshelves. Let's lose, use them. And it's almost like a, a cliche now, isn't it? See Zoom show bookshelves behind you. But to actually incorporate them into a magic trick, I thought was really nice. That, and there was a, uh, a kind of chop cut routine, a beautiful coin routine actually with a ring. Anyway, a good mix of magic, but good. It, it was kind of felt like it was based around classic magic cards, coins, the props that we're used to seeing, and probably lay people are comfortable seeing as well. There's, there, and sometimes it can be good to incorporate something completely different, but I like the fact it felt like it was classical magic given a new twist, uh, and again, yet yeah, another way of doing it that. that sometimes I hadn't seen before I'd seen versions of it but it was what am I trying to say it was it was taking existing concepts and giving them a twist to make them into something new and I know a lot of people claim to do that especially with new products but a lot of times they don't so it's nice to see that inner performance if I had one criticism I would say for me that it would have been nice to see a bit more magic and a bit less of the interaction at points to me it slowed it a little bit too much because of the way zoom works but you know I'm a magician and I, I felt that this show was for people. It wasn't for magicians, it wasn't for non-magicians, it was for people. So I'm absolutely sure that the non-magicians would have been totally, you know, they're asking all the questions that kind of we get all the time. So part of me was going, I, I wish there had been more flow, maybe three tricks in a row and then an interaction. There was this quite a nice running gag with the uh, with this applause, because obviously he was saying you can't get applause on Zoom, and he used that as well, and, and, and used that in a way that kind of got funnier and funnier. So there were some laughs in the show. It wasn't kind of a laugh out loud comedy show, but it, he's got a lovely manner. And I think that, you know, we've all seen his conversational manner and that kind of, it's very, very polished, isn't it? Josh is the way he performs. And, but it's polished and also there's rapport there. There's kind of, he looks, when he's talking to you, he looks like you, he kind of makes you feel that you're, you're the important one in the room when you're a, a spectator, an audience member. And you could see he's, you know, he kind of drew people in. And I think that was the strength of the show, really. It was... There was a, a real feeling of connection where connection can be very hard to get. And of course, there were all the usual things like it always felt weird after finishing a trick and not seeing the other audience members because um, obviously I was watching the, the recording and the way the software works. And sometimes it, it would be nice to see more audience members. And it is a, you do get that feeling of relief sometimes when they come onto the, um, you know, he goes, oh, what's your name? And you see someone pop up. It's like, no, not relief that it's, you know, because you are watching Josh's show, but it kind of, it's like when you see a live show, it's lovely to see that reaction happen rather than just hear it. Uh, and, it, you know, and then at the end there was the Q&A, which is, again, very, very inspiring. And I think it's really, really nice to see someone that is at the top of their game, you know, doing stuff that is, that is proper, proper magic. <laughs> I don't know what, you're not going to get what I mean about that, but uh, it doesn't make any sense, does it? But you know, it, it, it's just, I'm, I'm quite old school, you know, I, I, I like, I like the cards, coins and stuff. So yeah, that's, I suppose what I mean. Uh, but really, really enjoyed it. Learned a lot. Um, great to see uh, a show on Zoom again. And, you know, it's interesting to think isn't it how long you know are we all going to get really into our zoom shows and then be going out there all scared again who knows but that's joshua j showtime uh
have a good one. Take care. Do check out the links below. You won't be able to watch that again now, but if you're interested in any of the other showtimes coming up, and there are a lot of them coming up, uh, and, or, and the, I don't know if it's the show ones or the connected ones, but there's, there's a load of that stuff coming up anyway, but, but check it out. You know where to look. Uh, take care. Check out carbmagiccourse.com. Like, subscribe. Have a good one.